The people across the U.S. and the globe are reacting to the Queen's death. In a tweet today, Governor Roy Cooper wrote, Queen Elizabeth led with unparalleled dignity over seven decades of a rapidly changing world. North Carolina is proud of our close relationship with the people of Great Britain, and we mourn the loss of an extraordinary leader. Now, you might be surprised to know the Queen had ties to North Carolina. WFMY News 2's Avery Powell takes a closer look at some of those connections. Queen Elizabeth II touched many lives across the world, including in North Carolina, where her influence remains. North Carolina Representative Alma Adams said in a statement that she was thankful for the Queen's opposition to the apartheid regime in South Africa and her commitment to democracy and, internet and the international community. In that statement, Adams said, quote, I will honor the Queen's memory by never taking our democracy for granted and by continuing to protect and nourish it. Ocracoke Island in the Outer Banks also has a British cemetery with bur burials from World War II. 37 British Royal Navy soldiers were killed on the HMT Bedfordshire. Every year, the National Park Service, the Coast Guard, and the British Royal Navy honor the men lost and a new British flag gifted from the UK is flown. And finally, at Roanoke Island is the Elizabeth II ship, modeled after a 16th century sailing vessel and named after the monarch. The model ship was built to commemorate 400 years since the Roanoke voyages.